государыне императрицы. Ура! 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 The woman was the only female empress in the history of Russia, with ambition under her turquoise eyes. During her reign, she was able to open up new territories and lay the foundations of Russia as a world power. She even said that if she lived to be 200 years old, all of Europe would fall at her feet. However, the image of her as a strong woman was not due to her smooth life, but to the awakening and growth of her genetic self after a long period of darkness and helplessness. Ekaterina was initially a princess of a ragged Prussian noble family and was sent to Russia for a match by political marriage. In the cold winter of 1742, in a white world full of frost, a dilapidated carriage passed through the snowy sky, and on it sat a young girl full of fantasies of love, with a clear light in her deep eyes as if hiding a turquoise lake of tenderness. While on the road, my mother couldn't help but ask her, Do you know where you are going? Sophia answered Russia, an Asian country with cold weather, but her mother corrected her, saying that it was an Asian country that wanted to rule Europe. She then picked up her Russian book and stumbled over the deflated Russian words, determined to become the Russian prince consort. At the same time, the Russian court was not idle. Queen Elizabeth and her ministers were discussing the choice of the prince consort. Unfortunately, the group was opposed to the Prussian princess and rejected her candidacy. The long rush brought discomfort. The girl's mother kept complaining without defense. The girl calmly and coolly calmed her mother then whistled to stop the speeding carriage. The horse was suddenly frightened wild. Running up the wheel unfortunately hit a tree branch, tilted and overturned in the icy blanket of snow. A handsome man descended with a halo appeared in front of Sophia. Sophia fell in love at first sight and mistook her for her fiancé. He carried the little princess step by step on the snow towards the cabin. The girl felt the warm embrace of the man and felt that she was about to have love. But the man's self-introduction shattered her dream. It turned out that she was not a fantasy prince at all. But the queen sent to receive her. Then the short to only three seconds of love broke. Sophia felt her heart broken to the ground. The young girl's heart came and went quickly. After a short break to adjust Sophia has accepted this fact. And even began to ask men how she should win the prince's heart. What is this all about? In the course of the young girl's thoughts. The carriage has slowly entered the palace, and this head-on woman is the Russian Empress Elizabeth. Although she was decisive and skillful in killing, but she was unmarried and did not have an heir. So she had to choose her sister's son, Peter, as the heir to the Russian throne. But he was called a nervous idiot by the Empress, always doing stupid things on the basis of his status as the heir. This day when he went to pay a visit to the Empress, he even brought two hounds into the Empress's room despite the rule that dogs cannot enter the room. Frederick always brought dogs on important occasions, in the land of Russia to make a big deal about the king of Germany. He may just be too long life ah, watching his nephew so stupid performance Elizabeth to be exasperated, but Peter did not seem to notice that he had angered the empress. When I become emperor, I change the Russian life. It was idiotic to say such things in front of her, in order to show Peter what he was made of. Elizabeth took him to the prison at the border, where he looked at the prisoners lying in the doorway in a bloody mess and listened to the words of the Queen. Peter instantly went weak in the knees and immediately apologized to his aunt promising to do as he was told. But Elizabeth did not want to let her off easily, and took him to visit a boy who was admitted to prison. Elizabeth not only imprisoned her here, but also forbade her to talk to others and learn to read and write, so she was kept in captivity as a waste. Peter, looking at the innocent child, was so frightened that he fainted and passed out. On the carriage back to the city, Elizabeth held her sleeping nephew and no longer had hope for the weak one, so she decided to choose a marriage partner for her and rechain her to train a new heir. Back to the palace of the silly white then again began to play with the dog in the garden, not a moment before the guards called back to the palace, looking at the picture book to choose the prince consort of choice, but this step is just a process. Prince consort candidates have long arrived at the palace, led by the royal doctor to do premarital examination. Sophia was brought behind the frosted screen, allowing the royal doctor to touch her body. 
Excessive disrespectful demeanor makes her feel very disgusted, but in order to get rid of the poverty of her family of origin and achieve a reversal to live a rich life, she still chose to endure and compromise. Physical examination results are very healthy. After writing her medical report, her reception dinner is about to begin. The Princess of Prussia with a stiff smile, slowly walking towards Queen Elizabeth, and then hold the skirt, respectfully squatting down to ask for peace. Seeing this, the Queen got up and came to them. She carefully surveyed the pro-chosen prince consort and intimately extended her right hand to the girl's eyes to show her love and support for Sophia. Without saying a word, she broke the talk of people around her identity, probing and despising the intelligent Sophia understood the queen's good intentions and attached herself to kiss the back of her hand, followed by a greeting in Russian which she had practiced all the way. Elizabeth was surprised by her performance and Sophia, who has a huge emotional intelligence, seized the opportunity to please the queen with a phrase. Elizabeth burst out laughing and the whole royal ballroom was instantly ringing with laughter. No one knew why, but it was never wrong to follow the queen's lead. She spent the night preparing the topic of dating food therapy, looking forward to having the perfect date with Peter. The next day under the warm sun, Sophia met the prince of her heart, but Peter's attitude seemed to be the opposite of hers, showing extremely cold talk of resistance, only the female initiative to get a little closer. Sophia is also full of concerns, all his neurotic and strange performance, in her eyes have become a symbol of personality, the innocent young girl is also willing to compromise for love, accompanying her fiancé to play together with crazy, the young couple after the first date, Sophia excited in the hallway dance, looking at the portrait of Peter the Great on the wall, she was also in the mood to imitate his movements, perhaps fate has chosen a path for her to take in the future, but Peter's attitude seems chilling, at the same time, someone is planning to destroy their marriage according to geography, at this time is the rapid rise of Prussia, Britain and France are hoping that Russia and Germany are at war, but unexpectedly the two countries to choose a marriage, directly undermining the interests of the British and French countries. The French ambassador on the scene cannot hold their breath, said Sophia must die or disappear, no matter what must destroy the marriage. So they quietly find the Russian royal doctor, make him a spy for 50,000 a year, and hand him a bottle of chronic poison. The imperial doctor gladly accepts the arrangement. The plan has an urgency and the imperial doctor must finish it before they get married. So the imperial doctor finds his lover, the palace maid. He promises her that the poisoning plan succeeds smoothly. He will take her far away to live a divine conjugal life, and then pulls out the poison given by the French ambassador. Palace maid picks it up, and the prince consort conspiracy of hunting is underway.